Hey guys. Okay, so now we have our two views pretty much set up here and we want to add something to this second view over here. So let's add some content and I think what we're going to add is a web view. So we're going to come down to our objects here and we're going to come to web view. We're going to drag and drop that in there. we are going to scale that out okay now what a web view kind of is is like a mini web browser that we're going to put into our application and we're going to have to declare which website we're going to go to in code and in our case we're actually going to make it uh, load the web page when we click the view to button so let's add that in code now so we're gonna save this real quick. We're gonna click on our tuxedo to switch views. You can see it brought up secondviewcontroller.h file, which is our header file. So we're gonna to have to declare our web, web view first. So let's click on the web view, hold down the control button, and then drag it in between interface and end. Okay, you can see we have an outline on our second view controller. We're gonna call it web view underscore one and we have the type of web view and storage strong just say connect okay save that all now let's switch over to our dot m file and we are going to have to synthesize it right off the bat so let's do an at synthesize and we are going to do web view one and that all. Okay, so we want the web page to load as soon as we load the view. So we're going to come down into the function view did load. And you can see it says do any additional setup after loading the view. In this case, we're actually going to navigate. Okay. The first thing we're going to need is a string of the website that we want to go to. So we're going to have ns string. And we're going to call that http url. We're going to set that equal to http colon backslash backslash. And we'll go to gizmodo. How about that? Next, we're going to have to make an NS URL. We'll call this full URL. Okay, and we have an NS URL with string. And the string that we're going to use is our HTTP URL that we just defined right above that. Okay. Now we're going to have to make the request. So we're going to have an NS URL request. And we'll call that HTTP request. equal to a new NS URL request and let's do a request with URL and it's going to require that full URL that we just declared above that all right and now we're actually going to have the web view itself load the request. So we want it to load this string right here. So how we do that is we're going to say web view one load request. And you see it requires an NSURL request. 
and we're going to call that just our HTTP request. Close that off. Save it. Now let's run the app and see if we did it right. Perfect. As you can see, we now have a full web page. In this case, it's Gizmodo's mobile web page.